How many dudes you know open noodles like this? Not many, if any. Bloody marvelous. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Pi. I hope you've had a bloody marvelous day. I prepared some noodles yesterday and realized my popping of the noodles to open them was a potential TikTok. I tried to do one yesterday, but I didn't have the video turned on. So I was quite looking forward to today's effort to uh, make that uh, little TikTok. And to do so, of course, I had to use some noodles and something. So I mixed them up with some vegetables and a couple of eggs and then just hopped out on the deck just outside my office and sat in the sun with a lovely cup of tea for my smoko. Hmm, bloody marvellous. Bite time. Thursday mornings, meeting time. Today was no exception. It was a bit of PD actually and quite a long meeting. Went from 9 till 12. As meetings go, it was uh, pretty good. I had to give a bit of spiel about the induction that I'm planning and I prepared a spreadsheet for it yesterday and yeah, my presentation I felt went uh, pretty well. I was pretty confident and able to answer most of the questions and there weren't that many questions. So yes, quietly confident that we're moving ahead with the induction. So very pleased with that. Uh, the, that's generating a lot of work for me now. I've got some things to get done. I didn't quite get as much done as I would have liked to this afternoon. And some other bits and pieces are piling up that'll need to get done before we start teaching. But these are very, very interesting times. It's just so many unknowns. It's hard to know what's going to happen and where we're going to do things and what we're going to do. Um, so largely I think I will be delivering online with uh, some small groups with students and things like that. But it's going to be interesting and challenging. There's talk of sort of not having exams but making everything internal and online, which is going to generate more work. But yeah, get some interesting outcomes for students, which is, yeah, pleasing, I guess, and good to hear. So, yeah, um, once uh, work had done, I mowed a little bit of lawn, and, yeah, that was it. I had planned to put the drone up, but it's just uh, too windy at the moment. So, yeah, and a wee parcel on the deck, which I will be divulging the contents of over the next few days. Back one was mowed. 1863 steps. Eight hours of admin and batteries still flat on the scales, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. If you know what xenosilophobia is, you'll be able to answer today's question in the comments below the video. David of Desmond's Donders was first in to tell us that 1% of the population are ambidextrous, can use each of their two hands equally well. So he goes on the Hall of Fame. And he also informed us that some parts they were waiting for for Desmond to get him back on the road have arrived, and very soon he'll be on a Donda. Bloody marvellous. And thanks for Moz for his comments and support. He also uh, commented on the 1%. Bloody marvellous. Feel legit.
This has been a Mario presentation, recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.